So my second passion was understanding servant leadership. I am a student of leadership. I've read every leadership book. The last six years, I've been writing leadership books. I've been on the speaking circuit seven years, speaking to 200 companies a year, learning the great leaders, and I'm obsessed with learning about how great leaders produce great results, how great salespeople produce great results. And it all really comes down to this slide. Love and results are two sides of the same coin. And it comes down to what my grandfather taught me years ago when he passed away. Don't tell me what you're going to do for me. Just do it. Don't tell me you're going to serve me. Just serve me. Don't tell me you're going to build a relationship, but build a relationship with me and don't try to win my business. Try to win my heart. And if you win my heart, you've got my business forever. Love and results are two sides of the same coin. This is eight years of research, talking to 2,000 leaders, interviewing 200 CEOs. My whole life works comes down to this one little slide. This is it. This is it. Love and results are two sides of the same coin. Love. It's a word that's not really used in corporate America, certainly not used in, in, in banking. I mean, how many times do you wake up and just call all your customers and tell them you love them? I mean, it's not really a thing you do. But like my grandfather said, it's not saying the words, I love you. It's showing the words, I love you. It's the servant leadership. Love and results are two sides of the same coin. There are almost 3,000 books on leadership. Half of them are on servant leadership. And my book, The Heart of a Leader, was the first book to connect results like bottom line results. See, before servant leadership, heart led leadership, love was just a touchy feely thing. It's good for culture, it's good for HR, it's good for retention, but it's good for employee relations or customer relations. But does it really affect the bottom line? So I spent two years interviewing and researching the best companies in the world and, and, and researching that if you brought love into the culture and you built these relationships that are authentic and genuine, you will achieve bottom line results. So the whole premise of this book is called The Heart-Led Leader, and it's the journey of 18 inches. That's the distance from your head to your heart. 